Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Spike TV, First Network for Men. My name is Spike Man Dan. Salute. Thank you all for watching. Today, i like to talk to you all about a seized clutch that is on my Coleman CT100U Sport. And i show you guys how to break it free. Stick around and stay tuned. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Spike Man. All right, so as you can see, we've got a seized clutch here. When I move the wheel, you can see the whole inner springs is turning around with it. Now, I don't know if it's the shaft itself or the bearings in the uh, inside the uh, flywheel itself, or if it's just the clutch sticking to the outer wheel itself. I have to pull this little bolt off slide the whole flywheel off and examine what's going on here so stick around All right, so as you can see, we're looking all around. It doesn't look like any of the clutch pads are stuck to the actual flywheel itself. It's something wrong with the uh, the bearing itself. 
it's the shaft so whatever is wrong I have to get it completely apart which means I have to take that clip ring off and pull the whole thing apart and see what's going on alright so upon further examination of the clutch it is exactly as I thought at first I thought it was one of the clutch pads maybe stuck on the flywheel but that wasn't the case it's actually the bearing between the fly, the outer flywheel and the clutch assembly itself that is actually giving me a, a rough time so I've got these uh, pliers that I'm going to try to break this free with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab onto the outer wheel right here with these channel locks grab onto the back side and I need you to focus on this the outer teeth I'm going to try to break it free oh wow that, that puppy is stuck it is breaking free but I notice it's really rough I mean that is rough as can be so far that's exactly what happened it's just something with the shaft is going on I need to break it free grind it loose do something because as of right now that that's not exactly how a flywheel should be operating and if I, if I, maybe if I keep turning it enough but that makes me wonder uh, I'm actually going to end up just pulling the clip apart and tearing this thing apart and see what's going to go on with it so stick around I think it's springy rigidness so it'll clip back on just fine but um yes that's right I said but um so everybody has to take a shot twice now all right, so moving forward in the video, these bearings all along inside of this clutch housing, they seem to be dried up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab some uh, three-in-one assembly lube, and I'm going to just oil that up real nice and good luck and see if that doesn't help. And to do that, we have to get to our handy-dandy toolbox. three-in-one oil cleans and prevents rust we'll see about that mm -hmm. so yeah we're gonna put some of that on all of the inside of the bearings on here stick around okay now that I've gotten the uh, bearing assembly properly cleaned out and lubricated we're gonna see just how well she spins. Stick around. Okay, now that I've gotten the uh, bearing assembly properly cleaned out and lubricated, we're gonna see just how well she spins. Stick around. So let's see how well she spins. Tell you what, that's a hell of a lot better than what it was before. We're almost dang near locked up. We still got a lot of uh, casting coming out of it, but that's to be uh, normal. So we're gonna go ahead and throw her back together and see just how much better it works. You wanna go ahead and get him on film? Are you having fun? Everybody, <laughs> that's my cat. Well, That's our, our baby cat. scamp. Alright, so with that being said, let's go ahead and throw this thing back together and stick around. We'll be right back. Cut. Alright, so as you can see, the clutch is spinning freely, just like a brand new one again. Obviously, I have narrowed down the uh, problem, fixed it, and... This thing should be back on the road in no time. I mean, it is spinning freely. Like, that that's excellent right there. It were, like, despite the fact that it's uh, got all that casting coming out of it, that's going to be normal. It's just the wear and tear. But uh, it is properly lubricated, and we're going to go ahead and get ready to reassemble it.
Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so we got the clutch assembled back together, and I'm going to show you guys how to get the snap ring back on without the necessary tool to pull it apart. I got it off with a screwdriver, and I bent it a little bit. We're going to show you how to get it back on. So we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I'm going to bring it up to the camera right here. I've got the snap ring semi started on there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a ball teen hammer and just like a tire how you mount it on a rim I'm gonna just beat it down one little corner at a time so here we go alright the ring is fully on I'm gonna go ahead and try to bend that one tab down flat Now I'm going to use my little flathead screwdriver to make sure it's flat. Alright, that looks awesome. It's perfectly on there. Spins like a whiz. And that right there is how you fix a seized clutch. You always want to examine the clutch pads, make sure they're not stuck to the wheel. And if it's still seized, you want to take that little uh, C-clip off, pull the flywheel off of the bearing set itself, check the outer flywheel bearing set and make sure, see if it's stuck or corroded like mine was. And chances are, you don't have to go out and buy a, no, another $80 or $70 clutch, it'll just spin free if you just do proper maintenance like so. This thing is spinning just like it would factory new. So, with that being said, that's how you fix your clutch. My name is Spike Man Dan, and you're watching Spike TV. Salute to all of you that are watching. And like I said, we are doing a free sticker giveaway. It says Spike Man Dan www.youtube.com forward slash Spike Mandan. We are doing a free sticker giveaway, so be sure to hit me up in my email link, which I will have somewhere down below in this video. And this has uh, been going on for about almost a week now, and still I've yet had I've not had any uh, anybody email me f about the free stickers. So if you guys really want a free sticker and you like what you're uh, seeing. Go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Spike Man Dan on his YouTube channel at YouTube forward slash Spike Man Dan. And I thank you all for watching and we're going to go ahead and reassemble this bad boy.
that's how you properly install that. Thank you for watching Spike TV, First Network for Men. My name is Spike Man Dan. Don't forget to hit that like and share button, and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions. I do have the answers, and yeah, we'll keep on the videos and do all that good stuff. And uh, stick stick around, because like I said, we got the uh, cell phone mount. We're going to be doing more videos of uh, more of on-the-road shots, and like I said, we do have our own logo stickers that you can slap on the side of your engine. The email link will be down below, right here. Man, I think that spins better than what it did in the factory. Yeah, that's spinning really good now. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely better than factory. Guys, if y'all like that video, don't forget to hit that share button and like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, well, let me show you a little something we got going on here. It's uh, the next sprocket change. This thing is wore out, and I gotta show you guys just how bad it is. Stick around. Okay, so as you can all see, the teeth are pretty gosh darn wore down on this sucker. I'm trying to get a better shot. An angle. Such a small house, it's hard to move around in here. So, yeah, look at that. All the teeth are just, you can see, I got maybe one or two very few teeth left, but they're just about bent, wore out, and it's all bad. Bearings feel like they probably need a little bit of help too. But we got a backup sprocket right here. Exact same uh, sprocket, 70 tooth, brand new. All its teeth nice and proper looking compared to toothless over here. <laughs> Quite literally. And this thing has seen better days, folks. Oh my God. Compared to that, over to this, I'm like, yeah, buddy. I mean, a lot of people have a hard time believing a tiny little three horse wrapped out could possibly do that to a harmless little sprocket, 72 like that. But yeah, obviously you see the devastation in the comparison. Well, that's a brand new one right there. This is the old one that I bought maybe a month or two ago back. I don't quite necessarily remember. Don't quote me on that, but Jesus. Look at the bending on those teeth. Look at the grooves in that sprocket. That is insanity. Yes, I did overrun the chain a little bit tight, maybe once or twice, but that's the exact result you can expect from running the chain over tight. Everything gets bent to all hell and your teeth start wearing off and all that stuff. And we just had the uh, clutch deinstalled, reassembled, and now that thing is spinning like a whiz. It was seized up. Not because of the clutch pads, but because of the bearing set inside of the clutch housing itself that got locked up. It had no lubrication in there whatsoever when I pulled them apart. It was bone dry, had a bunch of soot and um, casting crap stuck all up in the bearing set. So I cleaned it out with brake cleaner and I got it lubricated back up with a 3-in-1 oil at first to clean it out. And I sprayed it out with a carb cleaner and then I proceeded to lubricate it with engine oil. So it's high mileage oil, should last it 
pretty good amount. And that's uh, pretty much what's going on with the uh, Coleman CT100U with all the upgrades added, of course, making it a sport. And my name is Spike Man Dan. I hope you all enjoyed watching my video. Stick around for more Spike TV. There is more to come.